Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo, welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. We are going to be looking at what is the next cycle that you're entering into. So what sort of things you can expect in this next cycle of your life. Um, it is intended for the Fire Signs watching or to the Cross Watchers dealing with a Fire Sign. If you are after a private personal reading with me, please feel free to email me and um, we can try and arrange that for you. I am currently accepting those uh, for membership. If you want to sign up and become a member to the channel, you will get access to bonus readings and extended versions. Uh, what else? Um, don't forget to subscribe everyone and join my lovely little YouTube fam. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, let's kick it off and see what this next cycle is for fire signs. Coming up. What is the overall energy of this next cycle? Okay, very much all about your emotions. Your desires, wants um, are going to change drastically. Okay, Seven of Cups tells me you're entering into a massive emotional stage here. So there's a lot to do with commitment, loss. There's a change of plans. There's lots of changes and opportunities that are coming your way. Um, but overall, this Seven of Cups is like you're going to be changing um, what, you, what you think you want or what you thought you wanted. Uh, and it may be around a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Uh, but I feel like there's a realignment of goals so it's almost like you're going to get inspiration from a person or from life events and it's going to push you to want and expect different things let's see what else comes up okay there's a relationship something to do about a relationship here with that two of cups okay we've got destined leo libra possibly a cancer coming through here as well um Okay, strong twin flame energy. So I feel for a lot of you, you're going to potentially leave a situation. I see this next cycle is about you physically leaving behind a person or a relationship um, and you're going to go towards something new. Um, I'm sensing a lot of you this next cycle, you're going to meet your soulmate or your twin flame here, fire signs. Leos maybe especially more so, uh, or it could be someone who is a fellow Leo. We've got Libra and uh, Cancer here as well. So I feel like the universe is going to send you someone and it's going to be a surprise and it's the message here for you is to enjoy that surprises but I definitely feel like there's an ending on the cards here so I actually see you leaving behind a massive chapter in a relationship and moving on to a different chapter entirely um, and that emotion that surge of emotion is going to be the driving force behind that we've got the justice card so for some of you there's a breakup a settlement a divorce maybe um, but I feel like this is you finally being fair to yourself and going after what you're deserving of um, these nines that are coming up, I feel are significant. And they're both facing each other. So I want to say, fire signs, you're mirroring someone else in this, if that makes any sense at all. It's like you'll be doing something and then your person, the person you want to end up with, is also going to be doing the same thing. But I feel like I want to say there's an ending that's going to make you happier. And this next cycle is going to bring you your future potential. It's going to bring you that soulmate, that twin flame energy with the two of cups. It is a marriage or engagement card or commitment card. So I feel like this next, um, this next cycle that you're entering into the universe is going to surprise you with your soulmate or your twin flame. A lot of you may come to get engaged or married to this person fairly quickly after you meet. Um, things will just take place. Um, but I feel like there is a destined partnership because that justice card, that Libra and energy is bringing that forward here to you. Um, so we've got the seven and we've got the eight. There's the driving force and there you are. I feel like you're leaving behind life as you know it. Like you're leaving behind your job, your work, your person. And maybe it's more for those that have been in a certain life for like decades or for years. Like if you've been like involved in something long term, this next cycle, you're going to leave that. And trust me, I know it sounds scary. You've got that nine of ones, but you're going to want it. Your heart is going to want it and you won't be able to ignore it. 
possibly you have been before and you've been like, oh no, this, this will pass. I, I'm not gonna feel like this forever or it's just a phase or this is normal, everyone feels this way. But eventually, I'm seeing high numbers here for you, fire signs. So eventually, I think it's gonna come to a time where you feel like, okay, this isn't normal. This isn't right anymore. The want, the desire, the need to do this is, is bigger than anything else I've known because you're approaching that ending with that nine. You know, if you're in that number seven vibration and that's the next cycle, um, this is like that balance between earthly and spiritual. And I think this is what you have been fantasizing about. And then you're going to go after it in, in the physical realm. Uh, so it's really taking that initiative. You've got Leo energy around you. So you're taking that initiative going boldly where you haven't gone before. Um, yes, it's scary, but for someone like you under your element of fire, um, you're adaptable to it and you need that. You need that excitement in your life. I'm going to say goodbye to the past. Okay. Uh, the past was always going to be within you, but I feel like you are going to want to search for something more with that eight of cups and this is that soul searching that we're seeing this is leaving behind a life look it might be temporary okay it might not be like a big bold move um it could be something you need to do or you feel like you need to take a break from a relationship or from a career from a living situation and then go out and do your own thing do some do some soul searching and that might be what works for you fire signs so remember it might not be permanent don't preempt it to be permanent because I still feel like you'll carry the past with you in some capacity because that moon is still around you. Um, but you're going to find a lot more emotional stability. That's what the moon is as well. So uh, to have that, especially with Libra and energy, it's a healthy balance and it's a balance you haven't had in a very long time. Uh, and it's a balance that is like long overdue. I also feel with the justice card, it's like you're finally being fair to yourself and your dreams and your wants. And like I said, they will change, um, but you're going to start to find more of a balance in your life where you couldn't find that balance before. You'll start to notice. Um, you'll start to notice that I feel very much so as as you progress in this next cycle of the Seven of Cups. But whatever it is that you're going to be looking for, or whatever you set out to look for, you're going to find it because. You've got that here. You've got that that new beginning and it's going to be very fulfilling. This is the fulfillment and that's that building of foundations here. So you go to the seven, to the eight, to the nine, to the one, and then you've got two. Um, so, well, two has come up a couple of times. So um, I feel like this is a significant partnership. It could be in a romantic capacity. It could be like in business. It could be in friendship, but you are meant to be meeting someone or something. It's another kind of energy that you're supposed to merge with to build something great and create something here. So you're going to create it. I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing success around you here with that Ten of Pentacles. So whatever it means to you, settling down, we've got family, children, and creating a happy family home, working from home, building an empire. It's definitely in the cards for you. I'll wrap it up there though, Fire Signs. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also to sign up for membership if you like. Otherwise, hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So thank you everyone and bye for now.